Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're going to do the Turing test demo. And I have a lovely assistant named Katie who's going to help us with our questions. So here's what's going to happen. I am going to ask Katie questions twice. So the first time she's going to answer in one way and the second time she's going to answer in another way. So your options are she's either going to answer as Katie or she's going to answer as a um, artificial intelligence machine from cleverbot.com. And what you're going to do is try and figure out which one is Katie and which answers are the Cleverbot. So we're going to start with what is your favorite color because it's one of my favorite questions. Now this may be a little slow because we are also texting each other to make sure we're doing this demo right. So first question was your favorite color. <clears throat> Right, so we've got blue. Let's see here. It's another good question. <clears throat> um, do you like Alan Rickman? Right. So we've done some simple questions. Let's try. She says yes. Um, let's try something more complex. Forty-two. Okay, different question. Let's try something silly. <clears throat> okay, so she has no idea. Let's try one more simple question. Okay, so we asked Katie to answer all of these questions. Now we're going to ask the same questions, but this time she's going to respond as either the computer or the human again, but because we don't know which one was first. So let's start again with what is your favorite color? Now you can ignore the delay because I told her to delay on both of them so you wouldn't know which one was her and which one was the computer. Mm. Okay, colors tied to mood and thus we can change our favorite colors. So let's ask again, like Alan Rickman. Ooh, we've been asked if we like Godzilla. Let's say yes. Okay, then what's the next question here? What is the meaning of life? OK, 
Okay. Living life to the fullest and having fun. Sounds good to me. And let's ask her, how is a raven like a writing this? Oops. Alice in Wonderland. Good question. Well, they didn't really answer our question. Let's try the last one then. What is your favorite thing to eat? And I said I don't know. Okay, so what happened in this experiment with Kate, with our lovely volunteer, Katie? <clears throat> so what we were doing was testing um, if we could determine the difference between artificial intelligence and, um, so a computer, and a live human being. And this is the way that the Turing test works. The idea is that if you create a computer program that um, can fool people into thinking that it's a person, then you have an artificially intelligent machine. Um, and a lot of people take issue with this because being able to trick a person into believing it's a human being silly is not the same thing as actually being intelligent, but it's the way the Turing test works. There's an annual competition called the Lubner Prize in which artificial intelligence researchers can try to submit their programs. Um, and it's pretty popular, so it's got a prize of a few thousand dollars. <clears throat> and there is a $25,000 prize for a program that can sincerely fool judges into thinking they're interacting with a human, and $100,000 if the program includes visual and auditory input. But nobody has actually ever won either of those two prizes. Because sometimes people win the prize where they get the most human-seeming program. And so the one we've been using is cleverbot.com. <clears throat> it's one of the most popular programs. They even have apps where you can download and continue to talk to the clever bot. Um, <clears throat> and there are several other chat boxes, including one called TuringHub.com. <clears throat>